Hello and welcome to my creative space. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Welcome to another DIY video. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join this creative squad. Today's video is very exciting. One, it's a collab. Two, it's finally room decor ideas. I hope you're excited because I am. So let's jump right in. For my first DIY, I'm using 8 8x10 canvas from Dollar Tree, 2 11x14 picture frames, some acrylic white paint, and a brush. I'm going to start by removing the wrapping off of the canvas. Once they are ready, I'm taking this cutting tool that I picked up from Dollar Tree a while ago, and I'm going to remove the canvas sheet on there. I'm not going to use it. I just need the frame, so I'm saving those for maybe a future project. Who knows? Okay, as you can see, a little bit of the canvas this um, sheet or whatever is stuck so I'm going in with some pliers to remove those staples that are holding it because it did bother me but I'm not removing all the staples because it's going to be a lot of work and I really didn't have the time but if it bothers you feel free to remove them okay here are my first four frames i'm going to do a combination of wood glue and hot glue because wood glue is going to take a while to dry and i need to move this process a little bit faster so i'm using the tiniest bit of hot glue just so i can glue them together and they can kind of be stable for you know the remainder of this process okay as you can see i had glue all of them together which is eight of them and they look good but i had the frames um the picture frames and they were too big to be able to use them the way i wanted them so i separate them into fours like two two sets of four and i'm gluing them um together uh sideways like the longer side um glued together i hope that makes sense <laughs> um if i glue them the other way they were longer but they were thinner or like shorter and i needed this to be a little bit bigger you'll see when i go to put the picture frames on there what i mean um but now i'm going in with my acrylic white paint and i'm going to be painting this frames completely i just gave it one good coat and it was perfect for me um i'm going to continue and i will make you watch the whole thing so we'll speed up to the next step now i'm going to be painting the picture frames i removed the glass and everything so all i have is the frames and i do give it two coats of paint because one wasn't enough to cover the whole thing but if you want it to look a little bit distressed feel free to just give it one and you'll be good to go and now it's time to put everything together and this is what i was talking about with the frames you see how they fit perfectly and you can still tell that it's a window. If I would have put them the other way around, it kind of covered and they kind of stick out. So there was no way you would be able to see that or tell that there was a, this was supposed to look like a window. So, so that's why I decided to go this way instead. And now I just used a pencil or ruler to mark exactly where I need to screw this tiniest and cutest little screws <laughs> into place to be able to hang my frames and once that is completed you can paint them by the way i just decided to leave them alone um i'm going to turn it around and i'm going to be uh hammering uh these little hangers on the back they are from dollar tree frames that i've used in the past and that completes this project and here is the end result i absolutely love how this project turned out i am in love with it it's definitely one of my favorites. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. For project number two, this one is going to be easy, simple, but very pretty. Okay, I'm using a scrap of wood. If you watched my last video, you know that my brother helped me take apart a wooden palette. That piece is from that palette. And as you can see, it has some holes, so I had to fill them in and I used some spackling. I need a smooth and even surface. Now I'm going in with my sanding block and voila. Okay, once that is done, I am going in with my acrylic white paint now i really love the color that this wood has and i wish i could use it but i mentioned in the past that the house that i live in the walls are like a beige color so that would not pop out or i really don't like it so that's why i went in with white paint 
Anyways, moving on. Using my Cricut machine and some vinyl, I cut out these letters. And um, this is a very easy and simple sign. But I really love how this one turns out. Especially what it says. Don't mind that I misspell build. I didn't even realize that until I was going to hang it. And my little brother, I asked him to help me uh, see if I was... Um, nailing the nails in the right place for it to be straight and he was like why does it say billy and then he was like what is that and i was like oh my gosh i mess up so i do go in and fix it later or once he pointed that out i had to go in and fix that but don't mind that i love what this is and I think it's very beautiful. And here is a closer look to how this turns out. Now all that's left is to add some hangers to the back. So I turn it around. As you can see, I didn't paint it the back. I'm telling you, I did not have time. I am. If I get this video out and you're watching it, just know that this video has a ton of effort and a lot of work. <laughs> and i am so happy with how all of these diys turned out but anyway let's go back to the video now i'm just screwing them into place after i figure out where everything's gonna go and once that is done this project is completed and here is the end result i love how easy simple and affordable this sign was and as you can see i fixed the misspelling Hey there Creative Squad! As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, today's video is super exciting because it's a hop. And it's a hop around Latin America. Me and nine other Latin girls that are very talented and creative are participating in it. And there is a giveaway, a $150 Amazon gift card that you can win. All you have to do is watch and like each video in the hop, listen for the Spanish keyword or phrase in each video, comment what you think it means in English, not cheating. My keyword is, I would love to learn to bordar. If you know what it means, go ahead and comment down below. The winner will be announced on Friday, June 11. The next person on the hop is Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY. Her link will be in my description box. Be sure to watch my video first and then head out to her channel so you can find out who is next in this hop. For my next DIY, I'm using this pillowcase, some embroidery thread. I'm using the pink colors. I know I have the green ones here, but I didn't get to use those. I'm using some stencils I cut out with my uh, Cricut machine in one of those embroidery rings. Okay, I'm going to start with the pillowcase and I want to make this a long and skinny pillow. So I'm going to cut it and please do not judge my cutting skills. I don't know what happened, but let me tell you the line is not going to be straight but it's going to be all right okay next once i finish cutting this out as you can see i was just like why did i do that i don't know but here it is you see how it's not straight at all okay i'm using the stencils that i cut out with my cricut machine and using a pencil to trace these flowers where the pillowcase cinches i thought it would be a great idea i don't know but we'll see in a second so I take the big one and then a small one and I do two of the big ones and three of the small ones. I trace them on the pillowcase. Next, I'm going to grab my embroidery ring and this is the first time me applying this and I don't know why. It was a lot of fun adding this ring onto the fabric and kind of just like tying it on there. And once that is applied, I am picking the colors I'm going to use, which I will use the pink lighter colors. And if you thought I was about to show you how to do hand embroidery, let me tell you, no. I have no idea how to do it. But for this collab, this hop, we were told that we needed to create a heritage inspired DIY. And I am Mexican. I was born in Mexico. And in Mexico, there is a lot of handmade stuff. And I remember growing up seeing my grandma, which is my mom's mom. Uh, she was so talented. She could sew. She could you know hand embroider and do all kinds of things and i wish i had pictures so i could show you but i don't she did all kinds of crafts and maybe that's where i get my crafting and you know 
side because my mom also knows how to sew fun fact my mom made my wedding dress she sew it and everything usually for my daughter's birthday she sews um her costumes and stuff and so we are so lucky and blessed that you know my mom is so talented my grandma was so talented and i am creative somewhat <laughs> you know i also like diying a lot so yeah i thought i would um you know let you uh watch how my mom embroiders and i don't know if you're gonna learn a lot about it <laughs> because it's coin it's kind of needs its own video i don't know the names of you know the sewing stitches or whatever i don't know any of that so i don't even know how to explain that so i would have to sit there and you know kind of learn it to see how i can explain it but yeah so here is my mom almost finishing up this flower kind of just going around and i am just so happy so blessed that i have my mom and she knows how to do all this stuff and she can somewhat show me how to do it and maybe one day i'll hand embroider you know now to go along with this pillow i wanted to give it a couple of tassels well four tassels <laughs> one for each corner so i'm gonna take the same colors she used for the flowers and i'm doing two of each color and i'm gonna do tassels the exact same way i do them all the time and it's just um you know tying a little loop on there just so we have a hanger and then wrapping around the an extra piece of the um, thread around it to you know shape it into a tassel and here we have it i'm just going to even it out at the bottom and, and there we have our tassel next once my mom finished with the flowers i take the soon to be again a pillowcase and i'm going to sew the bottom together <laughs> i am so embarrassed of how uneven this is but we're gonna go along because we gotta move on and i'm going to be doing a running stitch for the bottom and um i think that's what it's called and if it's not i'm so sorry and i'm just going to continue until i get to the end once i make it to the end and once i get to the end i'll just sew it a couple of times and create some knots to make sure that's not gonna go anywhere and here is what this pillowcase is looking like how beautiful are those flowers now it's time to add the tassels to the corner and the way i did it is by grabbing the thread with the needle running it through the little loop that we left on the tassel kind of pushing that down and then finding the corner and then pushing the needle through the corner and pulling it really tight to make sure that it's um, very close to it and you can't see the white thread and creating a couple of knots on there and once it's secure we'll trim that and here you have your first little tassel how cute i'll do the other three off camera and here is what this pillow case is looking like how beautiful is it and here is the end result i love this pillow so much the way it looks it's amazing but i love the value that it holds for me it's so sentimental for me because now i'm gonna have this pillow and remember that my mom and i did it together for my last diy my husband brought me home these scraps of lumber that he found at his workshop and i thought it was a great idea to use them for this project so these are two by four i want to say and i'm going to be cutting them into 36 inches long these are are going to be the legs and i tried to use the mirror box for this which could work out but this is such an arm workout that i decided to ask my husband to help me cut them with the electric saw and he was such an angel he helped me and he got it done next i'm taking one of those lumber pieces that my brother helped me cut apart from that wooden pellet and i'm going to cut three pieces that are going to measure 12 inches long and here are the measurements once they're all together that will be the top of my little knife stand that i'm going to diy i don't think i mentioned that but that's what i'm diying today in this 
uh, project. Okay, as you can see, those pieces of wood, those are also scraps of wood I had used in a past project. And I added some wood glue and then started stapling them. This is going to be what is going to hold the top of my little knife stand together. Here I am finishing up the second one. Once that is done, I cut three other pieces from other scraps of wood and these ones are nine inches by nine and a half all together and i am doing the exact same thing i did on the other one some wood glue and then staples to hold them together now it's time to put all these pieces together so i'm taking my legs and the top of this nice stand and i'm using the drill to create the holes and screw the screws <laughs> and i'm going in with the screws just a little bit to see exactly where they're going to be sitting and to make sure that they are uh, basically sitting where i drill okay once that is figured out i am going to be taking my drill and i will be drilling this screws into place and here we go with the first one and here we go with the second one and there it is now i'm doing the second leg and i'll do the other two off camera Next, once my table is standing, I will do the bottom shelf for this little nice stand. And I am going to be placing it at 9 inches high. And then I am going to start drilling to add the screws into place and secure it. And as you can see, everything's working out. Now I'm going to flip it over and do the other side off camera. And here is what this little nice stand is looking like. Now all that's left is painting and I'm using my acrylic white paint. It works out very good. So I'm going to cover it in white paint. I gave it a very good coat. Okay, so to be able to finish this video, I only did one nice stand, but I had everything cut out for the second one, which I do plan on finishing up one of these days. <laughs> but um so you're going to see only one in the pictures but i do plan on finishing the second one so i'll show you that on instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram go ahead and follow me because i will show you there and here is what it looks like once it's completely painted now just need to let it dry and here is the end result. I love how this nice stand turned out. I love every single one of these projects. My room looks so much better with every single one of them. Cannot decide on one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Don't forget to hop around Latin America for a chance to win the $150 gift card. And I will see you on my next DIY. Bye!